Do you go with one of the big three banks? How much is it going to cost you? What paperwork do you need? Will you even get approved? And finally, you're thinking, I just wanted to follow my dreams. I don't like it here. It's, it's scary. <laughs> now, I know that was kind of intense, but let's be honest. The struggle is real, but don't shut down. I'm here to help. One of the most common questions I get when I'm talking to new business owners is, do I need a business checking account? And when I say, yes, you absolutely need a business checking account, the very next question is, well, which bank should I choose? If you're serious about starting a business, then you should operate as a business right out of the gate. And this means separating your business money from your personal money and putting a solid accounting foundation into place. I'm a firm believer that mindset plays an important role in moving you through life. And this is true in business as well. If you go into your business with a timid mindset, then you can expect timid results. However, if you start your business off knowing that you are going to operate as a business and expect great results, then those are the type of results that you're going to achieve. I'll get off my soapbox now so we can talk about business bank accounts. I know it can be difficult choosing a business bank account and being anxious about the documentation that you're going to need to apply and whether your business is going to get approved. You're researching, probably watching multiple YouTube videos, and now you have all of these facts and figures and features floating around in your head and you're not sure which way to go. Do you go with one of the big three banks? How much is it going to cost you? What paperwork do you need? Will you even get approved? And finally, you're thinking, I just wanted to follow my dreams. I don't like it here. It's, it's scary. But my goal in this video is to give you my top picks for the best business bank accounts and then organize the information in a way that makes it easy for you to choose the bank account that's right for your business. There's no one size fit all bank account or there's no best bank account or the perfect bank account. It's really going to depend on what you need for the type of business that you're running. I want you to sit back, relax, and take a deep breath. I don't even want you to take notes. I'm going to take care of all of that for you. I'm going to wrap all of this information up in a nice bow and leave it for you in a PDF. All you have to do is look down in the description, click on the link that I'm going to give you and download it. It will have all of the banks that I'm going to cover in this video and I'll put it in the form of a comparison chart so you can see each bank account compared to the other and make an informed decision. I'm also going to leave timestamps in the description so you can go back and cover the features of each one of the banks if you want a refresher after watching the video. Now, I want you to be relaxed, so I'm going to relax with you. I'm going to move into my bedroom and then we're going to cover these bank accounts. Okay, much better. Are you comfortable? Let's go ahead and review some business bank accounts. When it comes to a business checking account, the features that you're going to look for are a little bit different than with personal checking. Some of the core features that you want to pay attention to are bank fees because we want to hold on to all of the profits that we can. Transaction limits because you're going to be moving money into and out of your business bank account in different ways. So you really want to take note of the transaction limits that might be placed on your business checking account. Accessibility, meaning how you're going to be able to access your money. You want to take note of their online banking platform, their mobile apps, and the ATMs that you'll be able to use with that bank account. Integration with third-party apps because you are running a business and there will be other platforms or apps that you need to integrate with to automate certain portions of your business, especially if you are a one-woman or one-man show. You want to make sure you can automate as much as possible because we all know that it's a lot running a small business, especially by yourself. And then finally, you want to make sure that your money is secure. So you want a bank account that is, of course, FDIC insured. Just to keep things organized, I'll go over those core features and I'll use the same format. I'll give you a quick overview of the bank account. 
I'll go over the fee structure, the pros and the cons, and then the requirements for opening an account. I'll leave links in the description to each one of the bank accounts that I'm going to go over. And for full disclosure, some of the links may be affiliate accounts, which means that I'll make a small fee if you decide to choose that bank. Let's start off with Mercury. Mercury is a financial technology company and not a bank. Their banking services are provided by Choice Financial Group and Evolve Bank and Trust. Mercury is an online banking platform that offers you a business checking account and a savings account. Mercury is specifically designed for startups, which means that they are not available to sole proprietors. Mercury's free structure is pretty simple. They don't charge for most of their standard services. However, they do charge for their advanced features. There are no account minimums, overdraft fees, monthly fees, or account opening fees. They do charge a 1% fee for currency exchange. Let's go over the pros and cons for Mercury. On the pros side, we have that they include a checking and a savings account within one platform. They have no monthly fees, transaction fees, or a minimum opening deposit. You get unlimited fee-free transactions, a savings account that is held to the federal maximum of six total transactions per month, and that's going to be with most of your savings account because that's a federal rule. They have physical and virtual debit cards, and you get access to over 5,500 fee-free ATMs with the AllPoint network. They also have advanced digital tools, including API access to automate and customize your banking. When it comes to cons for Mercury, a big one is that they are not available to sole proprietors. Again, they are designed for startups. A second con for Mercury is that you do not have the ability to do cash deposits. You have to move money into your account using different methods. When it comes to the requirements to open an account with Mercury, you'll need a U.S. company with a federal EIN, your company's official formation documents, a picture ID, and that's a government ID, which is like a driver's license or a passport. Next up, we have Relay. Relay offers a free online business account for businesses that want to integrate their banking and cash management services. Relay's banking services are provided by Evolve Bank and Trust. Relay stands out because they give you up to 20 fee-free bank accounts, and that's 10 of you a sole proprietor, and they also give you up to 50 virtual or physical debit cards. So this is a perfect account if you want to separate your cash that's coming into your business. Let's say if you want a separate account for your taxes or for your payroll, or for your marketing. This is a perfect way to kind of separate the way your money flows through your business. That's one of the things that I really like about Relay. Relay is also another account that has no fees. There are no account minimums, overdraft fees, monthly fees, or account opening fees. And you guys know we like no fees. Relay offers two types of accounts. They have a standard account and the Relay Pro. So with the Relay Standard account, it's free. It gives you the core features that will help you streamline your business. So with that standard account, you get up to 20 no free checking accounts. You get up to 50 virtual or physical debit MasterCards. You can make payments via ACH, wire, or check. You can invite team members to Relay, meaning that you can give different members of your team access to your Relay account and they will have different access levels. You can automate the spending limits for those team members. So you can actually set how much money you want those different members to spend. And this would be helpful for me because I have one of my contractors that helps me with my t-shirts and I'm always sending her out to get vinyl or to pick up blanks. And we have to share the debit card. We're sending it back and forth. With Relay, I can give her her own card, set the limit for that. And then we don't have to worry about her taking the card with her and then I'm the, I don't have it. And that's doing that transfer with the card. So that's something that I really like about Relay again, just the ability to have those multiple accounts and those multiple debit cards. Okay, now back to the features of the Relay standard account, I digressed. So you've got direct bank fees into Zero or QuickBooks Online, and you can bank from the web or mobile platforms like iOS and Android. And then we have the Relay Pro account, and that Relay Pro account is $30 per month per business. 
and you get everything that's in the standard accounts plus a few more features. So you can automatically import bills from QuickBooks Online and Xerox. You can view, approve, and pay all bills from one dashboard. You can set up and automate multi-stage approval workflows for bills. You can pay bills in batches. You've got free domestic and international wires, free same day ACH transfers. And again, you can integrate with QuickBooks and Xero. So you have just a few more features if you go with their pro account, which is $30 a month, or you can stick with the standard account, which has a lot of features on its own. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons for Relay. So in the pros category, we have the no monthly fees or minimum balance requirements, no overdraft fees, you get unlimited transactions and free incoming wire transfers. Again, business owners can have up to 20 business checking accounts and 50 MasterCard debit cards, and those can be both virtual and physical. You've got the ability to set transaction limits for those cards, and you have no withdrawal fees at All Point ATM. So this is another bank that uses the All Point network for ATMs. On the con side for Relay, we have that you cannot do cash deposits, and another thing is you cannot order checks with Relay. So those are the two cons. Now let's move on to the requirements for opening an account with Relay. You have to have a government issued photo ID, a passport or social security number. And I can never say that when in these videos, social, social security number. Okay, there we go. You have to have a personal address and a phone number a business address and a phone number, an email address. You also need to upload uh, the certain documents for your business depending on your business structure. And that's gonna be kind of standard no matter which one of these banks you go with. You'll have to have the right documentation that fits your business structure. So if you're a sole proprietor, you have a set of documents. If you are an LLC, a partnership, and so on. Next up, we have Novo, and Novo was built for small business owners, freelancers, and entrepreneurs. They have their own invoicing tool, and they also integrate with other popular tools as well. Novo is another one of those accounts that will help you streamline your financial processes and manage multiple accounts in one place. Like the other accounts on my list, Novo also has little to no fees. However, to open your account with Novo, you have to deposit at least $50, but after that, there are no account minimums, overdraft fees, or monthly fees. They do, however, have an insufficient funds charge and an uncollected funds return fee. Let's look at some of the pros and cons. So with Novo, there's no monthly fee or minimum balance requirement. You get unlimited fee-free transactions, refunds on all ATM fees worldwide, which is awesome. There's no ACH transfer fees or no incoming wire fees. Novo integrates with top business tools like QuickBooks, Xero, Stripe, and Shopify, and you also get a business debit card. When it comes to cons, we're gonna add that opening deposit of $50 as a con because the other accounts on my list do not have an opening deposit and you can't deposit cash, which is the same as a lot of the accounts that I've talked about. And there is that $27 fee for the insufficient funds or uncollected funds returned. When it comes to the requirements for opening an account with Novo, Novo requires that all applicants have a copy of their signed personal identification. You have to have a mobile phone with one of the US major carriers, a social security number, a US address, and all applicants must be 18 years or older. And depending on your business type, you have to have certain types of documentation. Next up, we have the only big bank that's on my list, and that is Chase. The Chase Business Complete Banking option is perfect for small business owners that need to have a local branch that they can go to. So this option is great for small business owners that can't necessarily work with just the mobile banking platforms. They need to have a physical location to visit. Now, Chase is not no free banking. Wait a minute, pause. Did I just say no free banking? What I meant to say is Chase is not no fee banking like the others on my list. Okay, now that I cleared that up, let's get back to it. But they do have a comprehensive list of services and they give you a way to avoid some of their fees. 
Chase has no minimum opening deposit and no account minimums. However, they do have an overdraft fee. And if you don't meet certain requirements, they have a monthly fee. So with your Chase Business Complete Banking, you can waive their $15 monthly service fee if you keep a minimum balance of $2,000 in your account or you make $2,000 in purchases on your Chase Inc. business card or have $2,000 in deposits from Quick Accept or other Chase merchant services. Or you can also link a Chase private client checking account. So let's look at those pros and cons. When it comes to pros, you have the opportunity to earn a $300 sign-up bonus. You have no minimum opening deposit, unlimited electronic deposits, integrated credit card processing, that's their quick accept service, and you have access to 16,000 Chase ATMs and 4,700 branches across the U.S. And you also get a business debit card. On the con side for Chase, you do have that $15 monthly fee, which you can do certain things to waive. You have overdraft fees and your fee-free cash deposits are limited to $5,000 per month and fee-free physical transactions are limited to $20 per month. When it comes to requirements for opening an account with Chase, you have to have personal identification and that is two forms of ID, at least one being from a government, such as your state issued driver's license or a passport. You have to have your tax identification number or social, so that is the ITIN for non-US citizens or an employer identification number or your EIN. You have to have business documentation depending on your business structure. And you also have to have your doing business as or DBA name, and that's if you have one. And finally, we have Bluevine. And Bluevine's business checking is similar to a lot of the accounts on my list with one major difference. Bluevine allows you to earn interest. To qualify to earn interest on your account with Bluevine, you have to meet one of two qualifications. You have to spend $500 per month with your Bluevine Business Debit MasterCard, and you can do that in store, online, or through digital wallets or mobile payment platforms. Or you have to receive $2,500 per month in customer payments into your Bluevine business checking account. And both of those are pretty easy to do when you're running a business, especially as things ramp up. Another standout feature of Bluevine is that although they are an online bank, they do give you the ability to make cash deposits. Bluevine brings us back to no fee banking. They have no monthly service fee, no minimum opening deposit, no minimum required deposit, and no overdraft fees. They do have a $15 outgoing wire fee, and it will cost you $4.95 to do a cash deposit and $2.50 if you use an out-of-network ATM. Let's dive into those pros and cons. On the pro side, we have no monthly fees, no minimum opening deposit or balance requirements, unlimited transactions, and we love that. You can earn 1.5% interest on account balances up to $100,000. You can get two dedicated sub accounts, and these are accounts with separate account numbers that you can use, for example, like taxes, payroll, or emergencies. And you can also integrate Bluevine with QuickBooks, Wave, and FreshBooks. And you can also connect to third party tools like PayPal, Stripe, or Expensify. You can share account access with co-owners or employees, and you have free, free ATM access with the MoneyPass network. You can do cash deposits, and you do that through the Green Dot network, and you'll get a business debit card. When it comes to the cons, you cannot have joint accounts, and there is that $4.95 fee for those cash deposits. When it comes to requirements for opening an account with Bluevine, you must be 18 years old, a U.S. citizen or resident with a valid address, and you have to provide details on your business and the documentation that's associated with your type of business. Now that we've got banking out of the way, click on this video right here to find out how to make your business look like a large major brand, even if behind the scenes, you're the one that's running every department.